We have to have foundational health, foundational nutrients, and micronutrients that stimulate us in a regeneration, forward-moving health trajectory. Because age isn't helping us, our environment isn't helping us, right. our stress levels aren't right. helping us. Yep. So we have to be really strategic about what we do. All right, we are back. And as I said yesterday, Haley Pomeroy joining us now, as she does on a monthly basis. Haley, welcome. How are you? I'm awesome. How are you? Doing great. Always a joy to hear from you. I look forward to this segment every month. I mean that sincerely. I learned so much. I know our listeners do as well. Today, we're going to shift gears just a little bit. We've been talking about metabolism in general. But today, and I said this yesterday, uh, we're going to talk about men's hormones and the metabolism that goes along with this. And I think the one thing, and Charlie and I were even discussing this some yesterday and even today before you, you came on with us, is, you know, we men sort of think, oh, you know, I don't need to do this or I don't need to do that or, you know, I'll just deal with it on my own. And we don't realize that there is help out there for a lot of things. And especially as we age, we can go through some of the same, let me make sure I use the right words here, Haley. We, we can have some of the same issues i guess you could say not exactly but we can have some issues just like ladies do as they get older we do the same thing am i right absolutely you know we call it menopause i okay. mean there is a there's a day name and definition and there's even a chemistry that changes in the body and it can affect everything from muscle tone libido you know strength but one of the first things that we start to see is memory and cognition issues. And that's a really big one. And the earlier you address it and the earlier you catch it, the better off you're going to be. Signs that men should be looking for as to when to ask these questions, you know, with their doctor or, you know, a professional. And, and I want to get into that in a moment as well, because I, I think I, I just know from personal experience that it's not always the quote unquote family practitioner that's an expert in this area i'll get into that in a moment but when it comes to you know some of the things we're talking about when should men start looking at that right and, and you said something that i just want to address the leading expert in your health is yourself right okay a hundred percent of the okay. time and so really we're seeing and, and there's been a, a, a large increase in this trajectory but you know, I've been doing this for 28 years now, and we've been seeing this trajectory already where people are having to really get informed, be aware, and, and, and lean in and be cognizant of what's going on in their body. And everything tells us something. So I always say if you're going to go see your uh, primary care, your PC, or if you're seeing an endocrinologist or your chiropractor, you know, whoever you've chosen to be your partner in health, make sure that you're really communicating effectively, effectively what's going on. And, and I don't want to, you know, stereotype like you had just mentioned, but a lot of times men are not conditioned. You know, women, we have periods. We go through menopause. You know, we talk about our hormones all the yeah, time. And, and we, you know, you're not, you're not, you're not stereotyping. We, we don't. I'll be the first to admit it. We, we just don't talk about those things, Haley. I was working on a male fertility project for four years, and the words, you know, virility, sperm count, ejaculation, I mean, you would have thought I was, like, speaking in tongues. It, it was so right. hard, and, and, you know, for people to talk about these things. Right. But look at look at you giggle. Look at you giggle. Look it's at, the truth. Our, no, I'm, la I'm laughing at you because bodies. that's just, that's the way we are. I mean, we it's just, so we don't talk about those things, and no. and yet... Yet I do know that as we age, and we all know, everything slows yeah. down. I mean, there, there's no secrets there, Haley. Everybody knows that. You know, we we slow down. Our metabolism. But it doesn't not, have to. Everything has. It's just, it's just the way we're made. We slow down. But yet, I, 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 I think, <laughs> again, I want to make sure I use the correct words. There's ways to not feel as, quote, unquote, slow as we may need to if we get the right help, right? The, yes, and there's actually ways to feel outrageously healthy. Okay. I mean, I am healthier and have more energy and more vibrancy today than I did a year ago. And I'm planning on going nowhere but up from here. And, and my clients the same way. You know, I want you swinging from the chandeliers and talking about your health should not make you feel like a potty mouth. That's what I always tell people. Look, yeah. let's talk about it. Yeah. So, so in men's health, we really 
focus a lot on testosterone, right? Everybody's talking about testosterone. Mm -hmm. Well, men's health, a little bit different than women's health, it is significantly impacted by three things. One is toxins, right? There are toxins all over our environment that mimic or fake our body out to believe that we have enough testosterone. When that happens, our body downregulates. Our body starts to produce less because it thinks it has plenty, right? Our hormones are this incredible feedback loop. The other thing is, and I'm going to talk about what to do and what you can do proactively, but but let's all like, I mean, I want you to feel incredible. I have clients that are it, it, over 100 years old, 80s, 60s, 70s, that I have a hard time keeping up with. I'm, I'm striving to, to get there. We're working, we're working diligently. The other thing that's really important in men's health, and you hear in this a lot, it's a big buzzword, but inflammation. Hmm. Okay. So if you think about inflammation, so when our bodies produce hormones, and, and we think about men and, and the testes producing the primary uh, role of uh, testosterone, but the adrenal glands, Right, these little we call those like that house our stress hormones mm-hmm. and our adipocytes or our fat cells will try to make up for a deficiency in our testosterone production. So we get soft and fluffy and reactive and maybe agitated when our testosterone can either be low or it cannot be received by a receptor site or metabolized efficiently. So the toxins fake the body out and tell the body to produce more. Inflammation acts like a goalie in the hormone receptor mm. sites in men. Okay. So, so you know, it's like you're, you go and you have your testosterone level tested, and they're like, well, it's not too low. I've had a 35-year-old with a testosterone of 124, wow. and I have an 86-year-old with a testosterone of 900. Right. So age does not have right. to be right. relevant in testosterone metabolism. It's different in women, right? We stop ovulating. We stop having periods. Men don't. So we can actually use that uh, aspect of the body to really maximize men's health. So inflammation acts like a goalie, right? And with a goalie, it blocks the hormone from reaching the receptor site. So you can have plenty of testosterone, but you don't realize the benefits of testosterone. So that's that's number two. And then the third one is blood flow. So... In our bodies, and this is men that have high blood pressure or are on hypertension medication, gentlemen that are on statin drugs, uh, individuals that don't get enough exercise, massage, or acupuncture, something to stimulate the blood flow, our hormones get stagnant, and they start to kind of gum up in the body, and they, so they're, they're like a protein, right? And they're these signaling uh, proteins. And they start to kind of coagulate or get all gummed up, and they start to form bizarre angles, and they're not realized or recognized in the body. So those are things that we we work on when we're working in men's health specifically. And I can talk about nutrients and foods, you know, wherever you want to go with this. But I really want you to think about the toxins, and we learn this in male fertility. We can reduce fertility by 90% by exposing men to things like insecticides, pesticides, fertilizers. But it's not just about making a baby, too. Remember, it's brain health. It's heart health. Sure. It's collagen, elastin, you know, keeping your knees in shape. All of those things can, can play a huge role. So, our, not only is it our environment, but it's the food that we're ingesting. What you're saying is there's lots of factors here, which I think, again, we men tend to forget these things because we're not as, this is my opinion, we're not as in tune with our own bodies as you ladies are. Right. If you think about it, a woman can get pregnant a couple days a month. A man can impregnate a woman anytime. True. Right? True. So, 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 so when we think about what can happen in our bodies and we think about that the changes and the drastic variations that happen in women's bodies, we're conditioned to talk about this all the time. But men need to start having this conversation we are seeing significant, again, the brain health, advanced aging, cardiovascular stress, and also just not feeling good. Right. I mean, that's, right. that's, you know, that can impact everything. It can impact relationships. It can impact, you know, work performance and just an overall sure. feeling of joy and satisfaction. Yeah, for the, sure. The other thing, so, too, and I, I so we, real yeah. quick, I think the other misconception is, oh, 
you know, I'm not 50 yet. I don't have to worry about this. Well, there's there's <laughs> there's young men in their 20s and 30s that are impacted by this, correct? The highest incidence of prescription of cholesterol medication is now men in their 30s. Wow. I'm going to say that again. Statin drugs and other cholesterol medications, the highest incidence of your chance of being prescribed for the first time used to be in your 50s. When I first started practicing, it dropped into the 40s, and now it is a 30s. Wow. I had no idea. I want to take a really quick break to get you guys some information that I think you're going to need. Hey there, it's Haley. I have a feeling that a lot of you guys listening to this have got questions. I always say our, what about, yeah, but, what ifs, and you're not alone in this process. So right now, if you go to HaleyPomeroy.com forward slash got questions with an S, got questions, I'm going to give you 30 days uh, to check out our membership community. This is where people go to get their questions answered. I'm there, my team's there, and we're here to support you. So why don't you give it a try, see if this is right for you, and um, I look forward to seeing you there. One thing to think about is cholesterol is the molecule that we actually manufacture testosterone out of. So so I'm going to say that again. Cholesterol is the building block for testosterone. Without cholesterol, we can't make testosterone. So a lot of folks that get on diets that are very low in cholesterol, men especially, is that good or bad? It depends. So okay. cholesterol can be ingested in the body, and cholesterol can also be manufactured by the body. Okay. So if you do a strictly low-fat diet, you're, you're really putting a lot of stress on the body to try to produce or make up for that deficiency of what you're not providing nutritionally. So I'm not an advocate for low-fat diets in, in men or in women. We need healthy fats for brain function, for heart function, for anti-inflammatory hormones, all of our sex hormones, every single one of them. Okay. And the other thing that happens in, in men is when we start to either and or, and or it could be a combination of all of these things, blood flow, inflammation, toxicity, um, stress hormones, you know, lower uh, potency. When all of that starts to happen, men's bodies start to produce secondary estrogen and it's typically estrogen there's three different kinds but it's typically we see an elevation in e1 so there's e1 e2 and e3 right Mm -hmm. men don't carry the one that is uh, stimulated with pregnancy but they do carry um, e1 and e1 is again produced in the adrenal glands which are adaptive hormones stress hormones and adipocytes or fat cells so suddenly you're your six-pack is, is inclined to become a pony keg, right? Right. Or it's really hard, really hard for your body to kind of to kind of cut up. So let's, you want to talk a little bit about, I mean, there's certain uh, nutrients yes. that we look for. Yes, please. If, let's if, go okay. there. Yes, please. Okay. So, so one of the, I'm going to give you really basic, and then we're going to go really designer here. Okay. okay? So from a basic perspective, guys, don't eat the same thing over and over again if you are a creature of habit in your nutrition you are very susceptible to have hormone receptor site blockage because our enzymes clean out those receptor sites and if you eat the same thing over and over again you're producing the same enzymes so it's like um you know i would say it's it's like having only one tool, you're a mechanic, you're repairing a car, and you only have one mm. tool for which to do it. Okay. It doesn't work. Right. So right. we call it, we call it, yeah, confuse it to lose it. And, and in the book, The Fast Metabolism Diet, that's why we rotate carbs and protein and healthy fats and foods so that we can wash those receptor sites, heal the gut microbiome, and reduce inflammation. If you are feeling so there's a couple I'll, I'll talk about a couple nutrients they're really trendy and popular right now um I'm, I'm glad actually they've come to the forefront we've been using them in men's health for years and with you know tremendous success but i'm i'm in a clinical setting right like we're doing sperm counts we're testing testosterone we're looking at uh, sex binding hormone globulins we're looking at the glycoproteins that bind our hormones so we're so so you know we're a little bit in a different situation but mm-hmm. two things Actually, three things that you want to look at, 
free nutrients is one that's called Google Sterone. It's Google Sterone, a big one in helping to nurture the stress hormones that can inhibit the realization of testosterone, especially in men. The other one, and I don't know if you've heard about this lately, but it's ashwagandha. No. Ashwagandha, the tra- yeah, the translation is the strength of 10 stallions. So uh, ashwagandha has been used for centuries as what's called an adaptogenic herb. So it helps the body adapt to stress and stressors and also helps the body with regeneration of healthy hormones. So a lot of the brain and brain chemistry hormones that are, are uh, inhibited with testosterone imbalance and stress right? Stress just tampers a good sex hormone profile, period. So that's a, that's a really, really good one. Um, the other one that's kind of cool is rosemary extract. Hmm. Rosemary extract has a lot of phytophenols that helps with blood flow, and it increases the rate of delivery. So even if you have a lower end of the testosterone, and let's say you're in the 200s or maybe even 300s, I like to have my guys you know, in about six, five, six to eight, you know, without testosterone supplementation, without injectable or transdermal testosterone. You know, we really strive to get the numbers up just by nutrients. Um, so so when, a, when an individual has, is on the lower side, the rosemary extract seems to be really, really nurturing for that. Um, we have a product that's called Metabolism T4T3. Okay. That has all of that in it. Um, I would say, you know, probably, mm, you know, I, I, I'm fortunate, right? I get to work with professional athletes with, you know, getting Robert Downey Jr. ready for right. Iron Man. Right. You know, um, we're working with Dave Winfield, you know, I, I, to keep him, when you would talk about healthy and strong and, and those kinds of things, you know, most of my male clients do consume these nutrients in a way um, that is both preventatively and, and uh, from a performative perspective. But, but look at those things. Make sure you have, uh, you know, whatever company. It, 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 the, the only part that matters to me is that you make sure in the United States that it's uh, triple tested, so they test every raw ingredient by an independent company prior to manufacturing, during manufacturing, and that they cage it and test it post-manufacturing. Just so you know, in the United States, it's less than 1% of the supplement companies that electively do that. Hmm. We are one of those. So, so check your manufacturers, hmm. call them, have them disclose. I'm a, just, as you know, I'm a little on the neurotic side about potency and efficacy because I'm in a clinical setting, right? Again, we're pulling labs. We're meeting with people's docs. Like, I can't just say, oh, this sounds kind of fun if it has research and there's white papers behind it that's the wrong ingredient that we insist Mm. upon using a lot of times what happens is you know these companies are have 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 had a huge win in marketing and not a great win of what's actually in Mm -hmm. the bottle so i just encourage people to check that out and and as far as um nutrition perspective the fast metabolism diet if you guys any of your viewers we have sold millions of copies. It's translated into over 40 languages. Um, We are right now, we have donors that donate hardcover copy books. If anybody wants a free book, you can go to my website, HaleyPomeroy.com forward slash free book, and you can grab one of those. It's got a great nutrition program. You and I have talked a lot about the cleanse. We have two nutrition programs. One's a 10-day cleanse. The other is a, ten, a 14-day inflammation protocol. Most of my guys that are looking to reclaim their health, their fitness, and their energy, we rotate. We go pain and inflammation or inflammation for 14 days and cleanse for 10 days. Um, there's a couple other nutrients that are really fine to talk about, but... but uh, any questions about those? No, and, and I'm on the website looking at all the different things that you're talking about. And for those of you listening, <laughs> we'll have these links on the website a little bit later tonight. But Haley just said it all, and it's H-A-Y-L-I-E. 
And it's Pomroy, P-O-M-R-O-Y.com. We'll have that up again on the website a little bit later. We've got, you know, two or three minutes left. Haley, anything else that, as far as the nutrition end of it for the guys go? And again, we can come back and talk about this again next month. So this won't be our last time we talk. But anything else you want to add in the last couple of minutes we have? I think the most important thing that I can impress upon you is pick a nutrition program. Uh, like I said, we, we have the fast metabolism diet. Usually when our guides are starting, we go with the 10-day cleanse and the pain and inflammation protocol, which is 14 days. Pick a nutrition program that is going to feed you hmm. and you're going to be full and you're going to have an abundance of energy. Do not fast. Do not do keto hmm. if you plan on having long-term health. Okay. There are quick fixes out in the industry, but they do not build a brick house. They build a house out of sticks, and that is very difficult as we age. We have to have foundational health, foundational yeah. nutrients, and micronutrients that stimulate us in a regeneration, forward-moving health trajectory. Because age isn't helping us. Our environment isn't helping us. Right. Our stress levels aren't right. helping us. Yep. So we have to be really strategic about what we do. I want to take a really quick break to get you guys some information that I think you're going to need. Hey guys, it's Haley. And I just am feeling like there's a little something extra that you need. And so we have a free offer going on right now for our listeners. Just go to HaleyPomeray.com forward slash free offer. I've got something special for you, and I think it's really going to help. Makes total sense. Haley, again, always a joy having you. It's a fast paced, about 20 minutes or so is what we get. It's awesome. I appreciate it for all of you listening. Again, the website, HaleyPomeroy.com. It's H A Y L I E. HaleyPomeroy.com. Haley, again, I'll put all links up on the website a little bit later tonight. We appreciate you so much, and you and I will continue to stay in contact. Never fear.